Welcome to DJM TV. My correct, correct people will greet on welcome on once again to DJM TV. On our WhatsApp channel, we they give on our Google update like this as the whole. Yes, so my people, until this Afro final will be saying we share it on Sunday between Nigeria and Ivory Coast. A lot of reactions don't come out like this. So, Patrick Olusegu Adebami will be footballer before under the Super Eagles of Ninja. In the talk, don't react to this uh, final uh, match when will happen on Sunday. According to what he talk, hmm. he said the game between Ivory Coast and Nigeria will be the easiest game so far. So Nigeria will beat Ivory Coast hands down. Hmm. My people, not be small assurance be this one. The way we talk come. Anyway, those of you will never see the news, I will play on this video. Now I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna listen to this man. Oh, he talk. Oh, I'm gonna watch and I'm gonna share when they come back. Let us meet Dr. Olushe Gondekbami, who is the head of Sports and Diplomacy Unit, NIIA. Good morning, sir. Thank you for joining us on the Morning Brief. <laughs> Good morning. It's my pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was just watching the highlights from the competition in 1980. You know, I didn't have time then to watch it, but now I have time to watch really? it. Really? You know, <laughs> <laughs> we know why you didn't have time to watch yeah, it. Yeah, you know why I didn't have time to watch it then, 1980. And those moves were, wow. You went on to win 1980, the very first AFCON for Nigeria then. And we just thought, hey, let's get some ideas from you. How do you make a winning team? Nigeria is going to be playing against Ivory Coast or Cote d'Ivoire on Sunday. You played against Cote d'Ivoire in 1980. The next competition in 1984 was hosted in Cote d'Ivoire as well. So tell us, how can we win this match, sir? <laughs> well, you know, the most important thing is to believe that you can be a champion, that you can win. Um, and that's the first and major step. If you believe it, then you start to do the things that you need to do to be it. So it starts from belief, and then you start to act the part. And that's exactly what we have managed to do with the present squad. Uh, before the championship, you will recall, nobody had any faith in this team. Nobody was supporting the team. But then um, we, we assured people that if we had the right combination of psychology and opportunity to train, these guys are going to win the championship. And that's what we are seeing now. The players are playing confidently. Um, it's like a stroll for them. Most of those games, you see them, they take their time, they are cool, and you know they are confident. And at the end of the day, at the end of these championships, um, we now find the strongest team in the championship are the Super Eagles of Nigeria. And it started from just believing that they are going to be it. So they have arrived at a point where they are almost unbeatable now. They are unstoppable. And um, on Sunday, you are just going to see the culmination of all of that. Mm. And you know, sir, I was reading about you ahead of this interview and discovered, as Kari said, that you were known as the mathematical mm -hmm. Shegun Odegbami yeah. in your days because of your ability to calculate your dribbles and your tackles and convert them into goals. And his background as well yeah. from Polytechnic Ibado. Indeed. And I'd like you to talk to us about that. But besides that, you're also a columnist, a writer, publisher, television producer, sports school uh, uh, proprietor, actor, track and field <laughs> athlete manager, just, just to mention a few the things that you did after retirement and you've gone ahead to make a success of it all. I just wanted to, to, to bring that up. But tell us, while you're talking about being the mathematical SO in your days, uh, what you think about the tactics and the formation of the Super Eagles as they go into um, the match with Cote d'Ivoire, that crucial match. Yeah. Well, thank you for all the encomiums. I'm just a restless pilgrim. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but for, but for this, for, for this um, I tell you that um, our team has evolved properly. When we started, we knew that we had the best collection of players of all the teams going to the championship. Our players were doing well all over Europe. And all we needed to do was give them a little bit of time to gel as a team, to become a team, because it's, it's the team that wins championships, not the individual players. And then we couldn't find the time. We had only two, two weeks to start to 
you know, put them together and blend. But within those two weeks, we played two games, we lost, you know, badly, and nobody had faith. But those players just needed a little more time, which they found at the start of the championships in Abidjan. We knew that from March to March, they were going to get better and better at understanding each other. Two of the teams that have done very well in AFCON are those teams that had players in their local leagues who were playing together for so many years, just as we did in our days. We are talking South Africa. Most of their players are from the local leagues in South Africa. So they are used to each other, unlike ours that you know came from different parts of Europe and need time. So now they have found the time. They have a good tactician in the coach who has you know used his Mourinho background mm. to develop a defensive style of play where you do and we use the few opportunities that come our way to score you one or two goals and that's it. So the combination has worked perfectly so far. We've now had uh, opportunity for these guys to come out and start to showcase themselves. We have the best player in Africa, in Victor Osime, who has not played even 30% of his capacity oh. in this in these in these championships. If we had more games to play, by the time we get to the end, it would be a goal scoring machine. Hmm. But right now he in a lot of energy and driving everybody with his passion and so on and so forth. And we have a leader in um William Trust Ekong, who has come of age, truly of, is a great leader, both outside and on the field of play. It's a great team we have now, I assure you, a very good team. Hmm. Well, I, I mean, I imagine Adrian saying amen to that because we love our football. And if I can maybe add to the accolades, we can also say you're a prophet because you prophesied that Nigeria was going to get to the final and play against Cote d'Ivoire, yeah. and it is happening right now. Plus the fact no, that I'm not, I'm not a prophet. Bro. I'm not a prophet. Okay, no, but, but what you see, what happens is that yeah. you don't buy experience in the marketplace. Sure. You don't buy experience in the marketplace. You, you. These are things you sit and analyze. And I've just told you what my analysis were long before the championship started, and hopefully it's just coming to be and it will end up that way by the special grace of god we are going to win the cup i'm here i traveled 1100 kilometers by road just to make sure that i make it here and i give the boys the support they need they have confidence now because i instill it in them yeah. that look we are winning this don't just go and do what you have to do and we are winning it Right. Yes, yeah, so my people, the man don't talk oh, confidence not be small day. Yeah, he said Nigeria will win this match between Ivory Coast on Sunday. Men they just relax. No, anyway, my people, the updates will carry confident like this. Bit is how I said I'm using. I'm going to drop on a comment. So I'm going to not forget to like and share. And also, I'm going to follow us on all our social media handle DJMTV. We'll do well. See you all in our next video. DJ. Thank you.